What you guys got another video here for you. This one is about the best tool to tweak and customize Windows 10 and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. Now if you like to add certain features to Windows 10 and also disable them then uh, the tweak tool from Renero is quite a good option. So all you need to do is download Renero Tweaker here and once we've got this downloaded, it's only a small download, put it on your desktop and then we can extract it and then install it on our system. I've already got it downloaded but I'll do it again just to show you. So let's go back to our desktop here and what we'll do is we'll get it unpacked and then get it installed. So what we want to do here is we want to install this program. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can either run this as a portable uh, application or you can install it. So these are your different modes here. Normal mode with an uninstaller and start menu icons or you can go to portable mode and this just extracts the files and you can run it. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to go for the installation mode here, accept their terms and it will put it into your C root directory. Click next, next again and create a desktop shortcut and have it for all users. And that's it. We've got that installed and we can now run our Venero tweaker. So this is the actual program right here. As you can see, it's packed with features that's going to allow us to tweak our operating system. It gives you some information about the operating system, the display you're using and all that good stuff. And you can move on to bookmarks. This is where you can manage all of your favorite bookmarks and stuff for your browsers. They will be listed inside here which is a nice feature to have. Sometimes you can tidy these up and also manage them. Makes it a lot easier to import and export. Now you've also got some appearance tweaks here, which is Aero Light, Alt Tab Appearance, and also colored title bars. You can do also custom accents on here by changing all these colors. If you wish, dark color schemes, you can change all of these inside this area here. And also, inactive title colors and a bunch of other stuff inside there as well. Moving on to the advanced appearance settings. These are for your icons. You can move these around. That's so the vertical spacing, horizontal spacing, and also do a bunch of other stuff there. You've got your menus here. You can change the adjustments of the height of the menus by just using these sliders. Moving on to some of the other settings here, you've got scroll bars, You've got system font, windows borders, windows title bars, same thing, sliders, very simple and easy to understand. Now moving on to the behavior section here, we've got ads and unwanted apps. These are the built-in adware that comes with Windows 10. You can just put all the ticks inside here and it will remove all the ads in those locations that are packed into Windows 10 and uh, you can remove these. Now by doing that you can just click on restart now and it will restart the system and basically remove all those from the system. I shall restart after I've done all my tweaks. We've got automatic registry backup. You can enable this feature if you wish and this will do automatic registry backups. You've also got check disk timeout on boot and also we've got a load of other features inside here for behavioral things like disable aero shake, you've got the, uh, default actions for shutdown dialogue. So I'm just going to quickly disable aero shake here and uh, you can do that by putting a tick in here. Now the disable aero snap also is pretty useful for some people but for me I don't use it because obviously my dual uh, monitors here. You've also got disable driver updates. Now this can be very useful if you want to uh, say div uh, disable the updates for drivers that are coming down through Windows updates or from Microsoft. So if you're having a problematic driver, you can disable that in there. You can disable Windows updates from here as well. If that's what you want to do, maybe you want a bit more control, you can put that tick in there and it will disable Windows updates and notifications. Very simple and easy to do there. Again, we've got um, enable crash and control scroll lock. This will enable uh, this for you here. You just put the tick inside here. You can read all the description. It gives you a bunch of information about what it actually does. So it just gives you a bit more control. Error reporting. I'm going to disable that feature. So next up we've got hibernation options. Now hibernation options are to be able to enable, disable or disable hibernation but keep fast startup and stuff like that. But I normally disable this 
um, option here because I don't use it and it's always problematic so I normally uh, disable that and also sleep mode I normally uh, disabled as well so they're the things there you've got your keep thumbnail cache and uh, you've also got menu sh uh, show delay and you can uh, change that speed there and uh, also got a bunch of other stuff on there like power throttling and require password on wake up and also restore point frequency a bunch of other stuff that is quite useful and of course all this is for free so it just allows you to uh, adjust all these so restore point frequency you can increase the system restore point frequency by enabling this feature here which is nice and again there's a lot of tools out there on the market that actually charge you uh, for some of these features inside here you know fifty dollars and things like that you know whereas this is completely free we've also uh, got USB write protection here as well which is a nice little feature because that means that you can enable write protection for your USB flash drive so if you're using say a, a computer that many people use you can also enable that feature and stops it from uh, people using that USB flash drive also Windows installation in safe mode this is an awesome little feature which allows you to uh, enable the Windows install installer in your safe mode so if you're ever in, in inside safe mode you can basically install applications and things like that from that location which makes it a lot easier to do uh, again we've got a bunch of other things here on the boot and log on this is going to allow you to change uh, boot options here and we've also got default lock screen background as well there which we can uh, change so let's have a look at that there so we've got disable lock screen and also we've got the default lock screen background which we can browse to and change images inside there if we want to uh, do that so if we want to change the image on our uh, background for our lock screen we can do okay so let's move on to a couple of options here we've got hide last username and we've also got a bunch of other features on this little section on the boot and log on section here network icon on lock screen so let's quickly move on to the desktop and taskbar section here now you can see there's a bunch of tweaks you can do here uh, which is like uh, action center and always open uh, that's a feature there and also you can make that action center always on and you always got backup and restore start menu layout balloon tooltips um, also you've got a bunch of battery ones here uh, that you can go through I can also see disable action center here further down we've got some Cortana white search box and also Cortana search box on top and uh, also we have disable live tiles so if you've got live tiles uh, that you don't use on your start menu here and you want to disable them you can do you can see the live tiles here these will be like weather and news and stuff like that if you don't use it and you want to disable that you can do by just putting a tick in disable live tiles disable people bar I know a lot of people don't like that feature so if you do want to disable that it will disable the people bar now you can do that within Windows but again this is all under one hood and it allows you to do it all in one fell swoop and then restart the system and that feature will then be gone so let me just quickly show you what that is it's this thing here I don't know who uses that but I don't so you can just say disable that uh, disable web search and the quick disable quick action buttons we've got those there as well so if you want to do that you can do and again uh, you've got your increase taskbar transparency level there's a bunch of other stuff inside here you can see them on the screen so you can generally make up your own mind what you want to tweak and what you don't want to tweak so I'm just going to skip through a bunch of these and move on to the context menu here so you can see context menu allows you to do a bunch of stuff here you can add all of these to your context menu which is really useful for instance you've got say command prompt with administrator you've got your clipboard history you've got Bluetooth a um, bunch of other stuff which is quite useful so you can just put ticks in these and it will add those to your right click context menu which is useful and also you, you can see here clipboard history context menu and there's a bunch of other stuff like encryption and we've also got environmental uh, variables file hash and also 
firewall context menu, network location um, on there as well. Open bash here, that's a, a, if, in case you enable the bash on your Windows 10 system, you'll be able to open that there. And I'm just going to enable the kill not responding tasks and also inherit permissions and firewall context menu, stuff like that. I'm just going to enable a bunch of these uh, just to give you an idea of what it looks like when you've enabled these and I'll show you that when we reboot the system. Power options, you can enable that on there as well. Reset permissions, all that good stuff. Um, you know, repair windows image. Again, we can add that on there as well. And we've got some other bits here. Reset permissions, run as administrator. And we've also got safe mode context menu, which allow you to enter safe mode from there which is very useful sfc scan now you can run that straight from there by right clicking and clicking on it and it will run a, a scan now sfc scan now on the system snipping tool can be very useful on the right click context menu take ownership is another awesome feature that you can have to take ownership of files and folders that you want to undo unblock download files and also a bunch of other stuff on there. Next up, we've got the settings and control panel. You can add your personalization and a bunch of other features on there. And again, file explorer. This is a packed with loads of other stuff inside here, which you can tweak at your own leisure. So loads and loads of different stuff on uh, that area there. So I'm just gonna quickly skip through a bunch of this stuff here just to show you the rest of this. So we've got a network section here for all your network needs, which is quite useful. So you've got your administrative chairs here, um, RDP port, which means you can change that there, or reset network data usage and uh, TCP IP router. And we've also got built-in administrator. This is for your user accounts to disable UAC, enable UAC uh, built-in administrator. You got your Windows Defender and you've also got Windows apps. There's a bunch of stuff in here. You've got your privacy uh, section here which is disabled telemetry and other stuff like that you've got your shortcuts as you can see the list goes on you've got your tool section here which you can add your OEM information which I've showed you in videos you can merge registry files open registry files reset icon cache bunches of other stuff and get classic apps into the file section you can restore and reset to defaults you've got your show visible tweaks search option to search for tweaks and and your preferences and import export tweaks and check for updates and the about page so that is it in a nutshell you can now restart your system once you've restarted uh, it will then put all of those settings in place and make it uh, so so it's a really nice little application for customizing and tweaking windows 10 just the way you like it and the good thing about it is after Windows does an update, it might reset these, I don't know, but if it does, then what you can do is just export, import your uh, tweaks that you've just uh, saved, and it will put all these back very quickly and easily. So it's a nice little way of doing that. You can see here, we've got a bunch of stuff we've added to the right click context menu. You can add whatever you like, snipping tool, SFC scan now, Windows firewall, uh, win repair Windows image, the list goes on so loads of good stuff on there and that is pretty much it so i'm just showing you here that run sfc scan now from that location rather than typing it out so pretty decent and that is the best tool to tweak and customize windows 10 it's a free download i'll leave the link in the video description for you a pretty decent bit of kit to have on your computer my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you've got little tools that you want to take a look at on this channel, then leave them in the comment section below or leave a comment to what the tool is called and I'll take a look at it. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.